Okay, episode 462 of Extreme Health Radio is brought to you by a couple different really cool products. One is the Bellicon Rebounder. Um, I don't really talk about this as much as I probably should, but rebounding is an amazing way to cleanse and purify your lymphatic system. Helps to build bone density, improve circulation, tighten every single muscle in your body. What's awesome too is that it is a cellular exercise. So every single cell in your entire body gets stimulated because of the up and down motion, the G-force that you apply to your bones and joints and cells when you jump up and down. I highly recommend it. It's great for bone density, like I said, cleansing the body. It's great for every organ and system in your body. It's just the best exercise ever, and I love it. I do it every single day, and I think you will love it too. And we're also brought to you by the Relax Far and Fred Sauna. This is by far one of my most favorite pieces of equipment. Many of you guys have just purchased this recently. It's an incredible piece of equipment. It's low EMF. It's transferable and transportable, which means you can take it from room to room. You can lend it to a friend. It sets up very easily, easily, and it emits far infrared light, which is an amazing way to detoxify toxins and poisons and chemicals and all this stuff that we get exposed to on a daily basis from our fat cells. And it helps to improve circulation, helps to increase your immune system by some people say up to 40% because it increases heat shock proteins. It is just one of the most incredible pieces of equipment. It's low EMF and I love it. It's by far my most favorite piece of equipment we have. So if you're interested in learning more about the Relax Far Infrared Sauna, you can watch promo videos. You can listen to Dr. Rhonda Patrick or watch two of her videos on our sauna page. You can watch an interview with Dr. Brian Clement, talk about the benefits of detoxification through sweating and listen to our shows we've done with Phil Wilson. It's awesome. It's the best piece of equipment, and I highly recommend it. So check that out. So if you're interested in the sauna as well as the Bellicon Rebounder, just go to extremehealthradio.com slash 462. And as always, they are both available in our store as well. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We appreciate you guys so much. This is episode four. Let me make sure I get this correct before I go around to spouting off what episode. I think it's 462. Is that correct? Let me take a look here. Yes, episode 462 of Extreme Health Radio, and this is going to be a free-for-all Friday show. I've got so much to get to. My better half and my wife, Kate, is unable to make this call, but she's going to be on soon again. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot to get to today, lots going on in the alternative natural health community, lots to talk about, a ton of listener questions, lots of news as well, uh, behind-the-scenes stuff that's going on here at Extreme Health Radio, as well as stuff that's... Uh, that's going around the community and, and natural health. So, um, yeah, lots to talk, to talk about. I've got a ton of stuff to get to. So, first of all, thank you guys for joining us. If this is your first time ever listening to us, we broadcast three days a week on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and typically with, uh, with interviews with guests and with experts out there who are doing some really cool things in the alternative natural world. Oh, and another thing I want to get to at the end of this um, is building your immune system. And these are some ideas I wrote down last night of things that we can do um, to all boost our immune system. So I'll be sharing that at the later end of this show too. But um, yeah, we do shows three days a week on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and we interview naturopathic doctors, medical people, all kinds of cool people doing some extraordinary things out there in the world today that you're really not going to hear of. You're not going to hear of it in on the news. You're not going to hear about it much really of anywhere because it's not mainstream media worthy. Now, speaking of the media, I want to tell you guys about a really cool website called Collective Evolution. Let me go ahead and make sure that, let's see, Collective Evolution. So Collective Evolution is a really cool website, and uh, I'm trying to get the founder of that on my other podcast here that I'll be telling you guys about too, coming up soon. But um, yeah, they're doing some really cool things. They're into alternative health. They're into... 
gosh, alternative media, alternative basically everything. And they're, they're doing some cool things. And I saw something recently that they're launching a brand new thing called uh, CE News, Collective Evolution News. So get on board with that. I just donated uh, just a little bit recently um, to their new effort. And, um, and they have a huge reach. And they're going to be doing some cool things with news. So if you are... Are you, I suspect if you're listening to this, you're probably not. You're probably not a news watcher, you know. Probably not. Channel Nine News, Fox News, CBS. I'm guessing that's not something that you watch. So this is what's really cool about today's world: is you have people that have the ability to put together um, awesome, awesome, awesome things out there on the internet. So this is going to be. Um, um, uh, let's see. What do you call it? More evolved or higher consciousness type news. So it's going to be cool. So I'm down with that, man. I think we need to get the corporate news media out of out of business. I think all that stuff needs to go away. And so the only way that goes away is a not watching it and not not buying into their propaganda. But then two, uh, funding and helping support other companies out there that are trying to offer something different. And that's how it happens: the grassroots people donating a dollar, two bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, a hundred bucks to people they think out there are doing some cool things. So. Uh, Go over to collectiveevolution.com, and I'm not sure where you can find it on their website, but they have a thing called CE News. You might even be able to search that, CE News, and you can search for that and find out what they're doing with that, and you can donate. I think it's an Indiegogo campaign that they're doing, so go check that out, please, because um, I think it's very important to to support people that are attempting to make a difference in the world, and that's the only way that happens is people support and share and donate and all that kind of stuff, so um, go over there. Collective evolution. Oh gosh, where do I start? There's so much to talk about. So many things going on in the world today. Let's do some show recaps here um, because it's been a while since we've done um, since we've done a free for all Friday show. And I was intending to have Kate on the show today, but she is unable to do it. So I'm just going to do it by myself. But we have so much going on in the um, on our show, not just in the alternative health world. But let's see, it's been a while since we've done a Free For All Friday show, and uh, we've had some really interesting guests since then. And I know we recap a little bit at the end of the show about um, you know what we think about the show, but uh, th- this will give me a chance to actually go back. So our most recent episode, um, as of this recording, was Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, and that was a show all about vaccinations and vaccines and what they're putting in vaccinations, and um, some of her research recently, her recent research about how they are going to try to make mandatory vaccines for adults. That was very fascinating, right? Could you imagine? I mean, I can't imagine that would happen in our lifetime. Could you imagine every adult had to get vaccinated? But the thing that I don't get is why don't they just do that, right? I mean, if, you, if they made it so that you, just tomorrow you couldn't get a driver's license without, or a driver license, I should say, uh, singular, um, without a vaccine, I mean, yeah, people are going to whine and cry about it, but if, you, if you're the one that holds all the cards, why wouldn't you do that? So that's interesting. I don't know why. Maybe you guys can offer some insight on that. So um, yeah, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, we talked a lot about the work that she's doing. She's got a really cool, interesting website that I haven't even looked at yet, but uh, there's a link to it on that show page, which was extremehealthradio.com slash 461, um, where she talked about Oh gosh, what is it called? Vaccine? Let me take a look here. Vaccine Research Library. So that looks like a really interesting resource for people to to be a part of. So we had her on, and then prior to her, we had Dr. Dominic D'Agostino, Italian guy. Doesn't sound Italian though, but he's a doctor out in Florida, and he talked about the benefits of the ketogenic diet uh, in relationship Primarily, we talked about cancer, epilepsy, seizures, uh, diabetes, hormones, and um, basically weight loss and, and why the ketogenic diet is so, so popular and works so well. And he's done a lot of the scientific research behind what's going on with it. You know, like why, why is it that, you know, the more fat you eat and, you know, healthy, healthy fats, why is that? Excuse me. Why do you feel so good? Why do you lose weight? Why do you have more energy? Why do your hormones balance? Why do you? Why do seizures seem to go away? Why do? Why does it stop feeding cancer cells? I mean, what is? What an amazing insight! And he's got all this science to to back that up, which I thought was really interesting. 
So the ketogenic diet, that's something that I am, um, I'm, I'm moving more towards. I have to say, I do things very slow. I'm not very, I'm not very quick extreme. I, I move in the direction that I want to go in a slow and calculated manner. And that way it's much easier for me to sustain my decision. And so, um, that's kind of how I work. And so I've been moving more towards ketogenic diet. Lots more fats, lots more, um, about the same amount of protein, but much, much lower carbohydrates. And so if you are someone who wants to prevent cancers and epilepsy seizures, if you're interested in weight loss, diabetes, hormones, things like that, you might want to listen to this show we did with Dr. D'Agostino. That was cool, episode 460. And then before that, 459, Mr. Tom Arguello. He had a cool story about uh, his story of complete and total transformation through cancer. And, you know, it's cool. I, I really like to have um, people on the show that are doctors, naturopathic people, and people that work with people with cancers and work with people overcoming their diseases and things like that. But it's also really refreshing to have someone who's not that and someone who's just simply gone through the process because there's so much spiritual and emotional growth that happens when you go through a sickness. You guys ever notice that? Because it, that's really what it's there for, right? To open your eyes and show you what's going on in your life. So to talk to people who go through that on an emotional level and spiritual level, it's pretty awesome to hear people's stories. And uh, so Tom was cool. He, he talked about he had a testicular cancer and, um, and he had the surgery. T- so he had his testicle removed. And now when he looks back, he, he actually said he wished he didn't even have that done but at the time he just didn't know any better and then um, in between the surgery to getting the chemotherapy and the radiation they uh, had him all scheduled it's all ready to go you know gonna go have his chemo and get his his dose of radiation and all that stuff but something didn't feel right he was saying during the show that something just wasn't right about it I didn't have this inner knowing this peace that just felt good about it so you know what do you do in a time like that well, you just run away. So he went, to, <laughs> he went to, he scheduled a trip to go to Colorado, go hiking. And it was there that he had an epiphany about, um, about natural healing and that uh, chemotherapy radiation was not going to be something that works for him. So he said on the show that it was really interesting that, uh, they were calling him and calling him and calling him incessantly to try to come back and get the chemo and threatening him and telling him that his chances of survival are, are much lower and, and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And, Man, what a fear campaign. So when you have people that go through stuff like that, it's interesting because it's an interesting story for one, but it's also interesting in the spiritual lessons because there's something inside of all of us and inside of Tom that made him and forced him to say no to these big bad doctors who are trying to convince him to do something, right? So whatever that thing inside him was, it's kind of like a little gift, right? It's like a little present, and then you can open that up and ex- unpack that and talk about that. And that's what's, I think, fascinating when you go through it's all the little stuff, right? When you're going through some health crisis or some health challenge, you know, what causes someone to be open minded to do research and to start juicing and do coffee enemas when they never heard of a coffee enema three weeks before? Whatever that is, that's what's interesting to unpack and really talk to people about and say, what's. What's precipitating this expansion and growth and awareness inside of you? So that was a cool show with Tom. And before that, we had Mr. Stephen Heuer, who he's the guy that, um, he's a naturopathic doc, and he's been at this for about 25 years. He's the guy that uh, puts out the One More Way protein powder that we take. I just made an amazing little coffee drink with that. I have to share with that. I'll share that with you right now, what I make with his protein powder. I just love that stuff. So I get about four ounces of coffee, I pour that into my coffee mug and then I fill the rest of it with water or if I have it on hand, I'll buy uh, mushrooms from Mountain Rose Herbs and there's a link to Mountain Rose Herbs in our store and at the bottom of our website. I'll go to Mountain Rose Herbs and I'll make uh, shaga or rishi tea and I'll put that in the refrigerator. So what I'll do is I'll get four ounces of coffee, put that in my coffee mug and then I'll fill the mug up with rishi or shaga tea, mix it all together and then I put that on the stove in our uh, Ceramcore um, um, cookware pot that doesn't have any chemicals, doesn't leach any heavy metals, or there's no toxins or chemicals in there. Um, we, we sell the Ceramcore, so if you guys are interested in non-toxic, chemical-free cookware, you can find that in our store. So then I'll heat that up, and I'll basically boil that water. And then what I'll do in, the, in our Vitamix, 
Um, oddly enough, we sell the Vitamix too. That's on our store. But uh, in the Vitamix, I'll put in a combination between carob and chocolate powder. I'll put in some additional mushroom packets from uh, Four Sigma Foods. I love doing that. Double up on the mushrooms. And then I'll put some bone, or um, let's see, bone broth. No, it's not bone broth. It's, um, what's the name of it when it's a powder? Collagen powder? I forget what it is. But yeah, I'll put some of that in there, a big heaping tablespoon of that in there, along with the mushrooms and um, about half a scoop of One War Away. And I do a half a scoop of Daniel Vitalis' colostrum in there from Sir Thrival. And we also sell that, uh, the whey and the colostrum. Those are both in our store through Sir Thrival. And then I'll put some turmeric in there. I'll put some cinnamon to regulate blood sugar. I will put, uh, let's see, what else do I put in there? Uh, turmeric, a little dash of sea salt. And I feel like I'm missing something. Um, oh, a little bit of, um, uh, what is that? Uh, monk fruit, low sugar. So it's, uh, I, don't, I don't do as well with, I do okay with the green stevia, but not the, the white stevia. So I'll do a little monk fruit for the sugar, um, even though it's non-glycemic. And um, a little bit, bit of vanilla f- uh, extract. And then I'll put, um, while all, I'm doing all that, I'll put about two or three ounces of coconut water in the refrigerator or in the freezer just to get it kind of cold. And so I'll take that boiling pot off the stove and pour it into my blender, my Vitamix with all of that stuff. And then, oh, my bad. I also put in there uh, um, the coconut, coconut oil. I'll put in there coconut butter, and I'll put in there some ghee that I get from Thrive uh, Market. I get all that stuff at Thrive, and then um, I put all that stuff in there, some super health, healthy fats, and then I will pour the boiling water, uh, coffee, tea concoction over the top of that, and then I will uh, put the coconut water in there, and then I blend all that up, and oh my gosh, that is the best thing ever, and what I want to do is get, Amazon has a really cool... Um, little little machine contraption device thing that you can buy that makes fluffy, fluffy coconut whipped cream. <sighs> can you imagine that? So you add a little bit of uh, vanilla and some stevia to the coconut, and then you put it in this machine, and you can make coconut whipped cream. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine? So good. So that's what I've been doing lately. Um Anyway, Stephen Heer got me off on that tangent, but we talked on episode 458 with Stephen Heer about uh, preventing cancer and increasing oxygenation levels into the body, which uh, is really interesting because I know that um, people like uh, runners, uh, Usain Bolt will take, I think I read he was doing beet juice because beet helps with the absorption of of oxygen in the lungs and helps the lung capacity to grow and helps you increase your oxygen ability to uh, regulate and transfer oxygen into your blood cells. So beet is really good for that, and you can look that up. But uh, also MSM does that as well. But he was talking about, Stephen Heer, using these uh, seed oils um, to do that. And apparently the membrane on the outside of the cell is, um, I think, 35% fat or something like that, double layer of, um, of fatty lipids that makes the membrane of every cell. And so um, it's that membrane that, or it's the it's the presence of, non-irradiated and non-rancid raw oils that helps that helps that membrane to open up and receive oxygen and so these oils do that apparently and um yeah so it helps deliver oxygen to the center of the cell which i thought was really fascinating so that as you can imagine ties into otto warburg's work with uh cancer uh, killing cancer and preventing cancer and um, it lowers inflammation by bringing oxygen and, and, and making sure the cells are, are, are highly oxygenated. Um, it improves health uh, in tremendous ways. So if that's of interest to you, Stephen here, episode 458, really interesting idea. He's, uh, you just wind him up and he just goes, man. He's he's interesting guy. I love him. He's cool. He's got a lot to say. Prior to that, we have Dr. Thomas Cowan. Now, this might be episode 457, one of the more interesting shows that we've ever done. Uh, now, Dr. Thomas Cowan is a cardiologist and a doctor up in San Francisco, California, and he does a lot of work with the heart. And he says, now get this, this is interesting. He says that the heart doesn't pump blood. You're thinking, wait, what? Every cardiologist would disagree with that. You you see a 
you see a surgery of someone having open heart surgery and you see the heart there pumping, what's it doing? Well, he says it doesn't pump blood. And he says he takes the Rudolf Steiner approach, which is deals with implosion technology. And I'm, if you're not familiar with that, which implosion is sort of the opposite of explosion technology. Our whole entire culture is based on explosion technology. And that is to burn and consume stuff in order to um, create energy. So that's why we need gasoline and oil, right? And we burn and consume everything, and it creates this explosive energy, which becomes very damaging to the planet, right? So when you explode, that creates residual side effects um, to our environment, uh, which is what you see with pollution from cars. And everything that we do is based on the burn burning of, of things that used to be here before us. And and then using that energy as, as uh, a, a, a way for us to accomplish what we need to accomplish. But then, you know, all of that requires friction and heat and all of that to, to create um, energy. But implosion is more like, what would you consider like maybe a, um, a hurricane, right? Or a whirlpool where the implosion is, is the energy is coming down and in instead of up and out, Right, so it's creating free energy based on the laws of nature, and when it does this, you can create free energy. And you know, Stephen here is building an implosion machine, uh, a free energy device. He wants to. He was telling me off uh, um, on a different day. I was talking to him on the phone, and he was telling me, giving me plans about what he's going to do with it and all this stuff. And uh, Victor Schauberger has um, implosion technology. Rudolf Steiner's talked about it. This this is stuff that's been done, and uh, Nikola Tesla too implosion technology where you can actually create energy from nothing and um you know nikola tesla was was doing that he was creating cars based on gravity and he was doing um you know uh, free wireless electricity where the electrical waves would bend i mean imagine that right in the 1920s i mean that's insane so anyway this idea that um you know how a tree is able to get sap from the ground and nutrients all the way up to you know 30, 40 feet high into a leaf that's at the top of that tree. How does that happen? Well, it's done through spiral action. It's done through double double spirals, triple and quadruple spirals that happen, and it actually it actually pushes something against gravity. It's anti it's anti gravity. It's it's levitational, and it uses that spiral action. It's a pressure thing, and it uses that to push the sap up the tree. And that's why the tree isn't hot, right? Because if a tree was using explosive energy, the tree would be warm, but it's not. And so it, that's what nature does. It uses implosion technology everywhere, all over the planet. But we just you know, decided not to tap into that for God knows what reason. Probably money. I'd, I'd say money. But anyway, he says the, the, the pump is more of a, or the heart is more of a regulator. It doesn't actually pump blood. He says that cholesterol doesn't cause heart attacks. And he gave multiple instances of, of how and why that's the case. Um, and he talked a lot about the different arteries in the heart that why is it that some people can have a 90% blockage in three or four of their arteries and still be alive. And so he, we went into all of this stuff. We talked about statin drugs and natural ways and supplements to, to take at the end of the interview. We talked about natural stuff to uh, prevent heart attacks. And so if you know anyone with heart attacks, uh, stents in their heart, have had open heart surgery, um, who's scared of getting, of having a heart attack or just wants to take better heart health, care of their heart health, have them listen to episode 457. I thought it was super fascinating. I really did. He was, um, I mean, where off, you know, where do you hear that the heart doesn't pump blood, right? Then episode 456, we had Cindy Sellers on and she was talking about, um, colon detoxification. She shared her story of when she was four months pregnant, being in a car crash and, um, having debilitating back pain and the only thing that, that actually changed her entire life, she had been dealing with this car crash and back pain for like seven or eight, nine years. And she went to go get a massage, but then the massage lady told her that what she really needed was a colonic. And at that point, she didn't know anything about this kind of stuff. And when she had the colonic, her whole entire life changed. So we talked about uh, cleansing and detoxification. Um, now, she talked about the dangers of oils, which directly refutes what episode 458 Stephen Heer said. She said people do too many oils. Huh. It's 
So we had a lot of people write in saying, what's the deal? So you got Stephen here talking about how great oils are to, to deliver oxygen to the center of the cell. Then you have Cindy Sellers talking about how oils and coconut oil, all these things are not natural. So what do you do with that, right? What do you do with all these people on our show contradicting each other? Well, you listen to both of them and you make your own conclusion. Because I don't think Cindy Sellers is right about everything and I don't think Stephen Hewer is right about everything. We have to listen to our own gut, right? We have to listen to our own thing. I still, after that show with Cindy Sellers, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think oils are incredible, um, even though they're not, maybe not natural. You wouldn't find coconut oil in the wild. I understand that. You wouldn't find a green juice in the wild, too. And you wouldn't find a car in the wild. You wouldn't find desks in the wild. You wouldn't find really any smooth um, surfaces in the wild. You wouldn't find any... Um, there's a lot that you wouldn't find that we do in our modern culture that's not necessarily true. So here's the thing. So you have something, you cannot just say, well, something is not natural, so I don't take it. Right? So like, for example, coconut oil. Let's say coconut oil helps to get rid of, uh, I'll just make, just make something up here. Let's say we're exposed to high levels of lead, right? Because we're living in this unnatural environment, right? So we're living in an unnatural environment. We take high, we, we just by breathing the air, we get high levels of lead, right? So is it, is it natural to take the coconut oil? Well, no. But it helps to get rid of lead. Okay? So if the lead is going to kill you because it keeps stacking up and putting a burden on your immune system, well, it's not natural to be exposed to lead either. So does one thing that's unnatural cancel out something else that's unnatural? So you can't just say, well, it's not natural, right? So like, it's a lot of people saying, oh, um, alkaline water is not natural, so you shouldn't drink it, or acid water is not natural, spring water's some people say it's not natural, you know, all this stuff. And, but it's not really if, if it's natural or not, but is it efficacious and are you getting a good benefit from it? It may not be natural to be on it forever because what if at some point you're able to get rid of that lead by drinking more water? Okay, if that's the case, then you can get off a little bit of the coconut oil. So it's all these things are in flux, right? So I think it's, it's dangerous to say, well, something's just not natural. You know, there's so many things that aren't natural that we do. I'm talking into a microphone right now. That's not very natural either. I have, a, I have a headset on. That's not natural. So everything we do, we live in a completely unnatural society. So that argument doesn't really fly with me. Because, I mean, how many other things can you think of that you do that are not natural? There's a million things you can do. And things that we do every day. Sitting in front of a TV, working on a computer, all that stuff. So we got to ask deeper questions. And so I take oils, you know, I, I, I really seem to get great benefit from them and I like them. So, but she was an awesome episode, really interesting lady, episode 456, Cindy Sellers. Then we had episode 455, du Duccio, Duccio Locati. Is that his name? Duccio. Yeah, he's awesome. He did, uh, he talks about reprogramming the subconscious mind and how our belief systems affect our health. So that was really interesting, I thought. Listen to that show. He talked about, gosh, what is he? He's uh, involved in um, a way of helping the body to reprogram their mind. And I'm actually going to have a session with him pretty soon, actually, so I can share with you guys how that goes. But, um, yeah, he's. I'm going to have a private session with him. And uh, I really liked him. He was really cool. In episode 454, Tracy Raftel uh, talked about acne hormones and severe acne and skin conditions and she's got a really great program that we're going to be putting in our store here pretty soon because i really like her program and what she's doing but yeah she talked about um her skin detoxification protocol and you should see the before and after pictures of her man she had severe acne all over her face and who episode 454 go on our archives page and listen to that one that was pretty uh pretty interesting everything she's been through and now she's um she she really gets it. She she realizes it's not just some topical cream that you put on your face that gets rid of acne. It's an epidemic chronic systemic internal condition primarily because of the liver and colon. So then we had uh let's see Howard Martin. Gosh, it's been a long time since we've had a Free Fall Friday show. Episode 453 Howard Martin reconnecting with your heart. Listening to your own intuition 
not other people, and how to live more authentically in today's culture. That was a really cool show. He does he does this stuff with the Heart Math Institute. So if you guys are unfamiliar with that, um, that's a really, really cool way of using bioresonance and this ability to do biofeedback through a device that they have called the, um, what is it called? The um, EM wave. And you can get this device and I've used it before. It's pretty awesome. And it shows you whether or not you're in resonance. If, you're, if your sympathetic nervous system is, is being, I guess, um, what's the right word? Um, compromised, I would say compromised. And uh, yeah, that was a really interesting show. Howard Martin, reconnecting with your heart, listening to your own intuition. That's what it's all about, right? Oh, and then episode 452, that was our last Free For All Friday show, September 1st. Can you believe that? We took a bunch of uh, listener questions on that one. Episode 452, the limitations of science, downloading thoughts and disease, cracking belief systems, bone health, and much more. So that was cool. That was a cool show with Kate. So there you go. We've had quite a lot of shows, lots of stuff going on here behind the scenes of Extreme Health Radio. Um, yeah, so we've got lots of stuff coming up. If you guys are, are uh, wanting to subscribe to our shows, you can do that. If you like, that would be fun, right? Uh, you get little notifications. The best way to probably do that is to text the word get healthy to 33444. That'll sign you up to our newsletter list. So if you're on your phone right now, you just text the word get healthy, all one word, to 33444. You'll get an awesome ebook for that once you confirm your email address. And uh, that's called Lessons from the Miracle Doctors. All kinds of cool protocols in that book. But um, yeah, and then... That's probably the best way. And then if you want to follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, we send little tweets out. Um, <laughs> Twitter. Tweet. Can't, but that, isn't that funny how that just is a thing now? Everyone's on Twitter. That's so funny. So yeah, you can follow us on those other platforms. But like we're talking about on the show with Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, if you follow us on those shows, you may not see everything we post. So that's why we tell people, just sign up to our newsletter. We can bypass these third-party corporate organizations that prevent people from seeing uh, the news that they want to see. And you can sign up directly with our newsletter. That's the best way, I think. So, Gosh, okay. So what else do we got? We have uh, the latest EHR news. Okay, we've got some summits coming up. If you guys are listening to this, we've got... Right now, I think it's day number six of the Detox um, Protocol Summit. Um, highly recommend. Um, sign up to our newsletters because what we do is we tell you about all these free summits and they're going on all the time. Uh, there's usually about one summit every couple months or maybe there's one a month or so and there are all kinds of different topics like a dentistry, hormone health, cancer, autism, just some really cool stuff. So if you sign up to our newsletter, I'll, I'll tell you about those and all you have to do is register but right now, this detox, what is it called? The detox protocol or detox, I forget what it's called, the detox summit. And um, so what I'll do is I'll put a link to that as well. Um, actually, if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash detox project, that's what it is. We can't do show notes anymore because uh, there's just too many shows to do now. So um, detox project at the end of our website. You can get a look at that. Um, yeah, so we do shows three days a week, as you guys probably know. And so if you want to sign up, um, and I want to thank you guys for signing up on and subscribing on iTunes and Stitcher. That helps. iTunes is the way to go. Because that way, if you leave us a review and a rating, that helps support the work. And uh, you get notified every time we do a show. I don't know how it works because I don't have a cell phone, but I guess you get a notification or something if you subscribe on iTunes. So um, we appreciate that. And uh, it makes it easy for you guys, too, because we do, like I said, three days a week. And then um, that way you get a push notification, I would imagine, that would uh, notify you of that. So that's a cool thing. Um, let's see. What else is going on? We have a new project that we're working on behind the scenes. I don't know if you guys know about it, but uh, it's called Perpetual Healing. And it's going to be a membership-based website where it's not for everybody, just so you know. Um, it's only for people who are very... I guess, serious about overcoming uh, their health issues, becoming stronger, getting more healthy, preventing disease, preventing sickness, and going deeper and learning uh, some of the root causes of disease. And if that sounds interesting to you, we're partnering up with two really cool doctors. Uh, one is a naturopath who's been doing this for 40 years, 40 plus years. Uh, she actually overcame cancer. And at the time she had cancer, she was eating raw food, vegan raw food. Can you believe that? Vegan raw food. That's crazy. 
So, um, yeah, so she overcame can- colon cancer by um, doing some specific protocols, which she shares about inside the members area. And then the other is a um, former medical anesthesiologist. Smart dude, smart cookie. And uh, he's been practicing natural for about, I think, 25 years now. So he's got a lot of, of knowledge, and he is, um, I think he graduated at the top of his class in medical school. So, I mean, it's not just he's, he's a doctor, but he's, he's super, super smart. And what's cool about him is he gets, um, they both really are, are cool because their approach is that there's not one diet that fits all. That's number one. Everything is individualized, and so that's cool. So whether you're vegan, paleo, raw food, ketogenic, whatever, um, you can benefit from their knowledge because they, they're, they're not pushing any kind of diet. And, uh, and, and the other thing that they're really good about is everything is individualized. So you know, although we can come up with protocols for things, generally, um, everything needs to be sort of individualized for you. And uh, so that's what's really cool about the work that they do. And, uh, and so what's cool about him is that he takes, uh, an emotional, spiritual approach. He's got all kinds of obviously physical, physical protocols and, you know, amazing information, but he also understands the spiritual, emotional aspect of disease and, and why we get sick. And he, he focuses a lot of his work on that. And, um, you know, primarily because a, it works because when you start getting to the real root cause of disease, it's all emotional, spiritual, but so not just because it works, but also because they can't, the government can't take that away from you, right? So, so let's, let's think about that. If, let's see, if you got sick, if you got an infection, say scurvy or something because you weren't taking enough vitamin C, but you were able to take vitamin C and get over that, right? Now, what happens when the government comes and says you can, you can only have, you know, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C a day? When you need to be taking a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every fifteen minutes, like Doctor um, Doctor Andrew Saul talked about on our show, high dose vitamin therapy and how effective that is. What happens when they come take that away? Like in Europe, I think there's certain parts of England and Europe, um, England and in places in Europe where you can't get high dose vitamin C. So if they take that away, then then what happens? Well, he's been working on a deeper spiritual, emotional level where he's been getting similar results without, without even people doing physical stuff. It's kind of like homeopathy, but it's a spiritual, emotional thing. And um, so, you know, what's the government going to do? Take that away? They can't take that away. So right now we're combining the two and getting tremendous results. Uh, they are. So really, really fascinating guy. And, um, so that's the kind of stuff we go into in our membership site. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm really proud to be a part of it and I can't wait for it to launch as of right now, uh, at the end of September, 2016, you may be listening to this in, you know, 2017, 2018, but as of now, it's not launched yet. It's going to be launching very, very soon. Um, so we're, I'm, I'm just really excited because I love both sides of it. I love coming up with generalized protocols for people for everything, um, every kind of health condition. So, you know, you can get all the physical aspects of this stuff taken care of and what supplements are good and homeopathy and cleansing protocols and practices to overcome stuff. But then you also get this extra piece, which is the deeper emotional, spiritual side of stuff. And it gives you all kinds of techniques and ways to, to reconnect with, um, with your true self and, and to see how the cycles of life work. It's fascinating, man. When you get into it, it's, it's really fascinating. So he does family constellation therapy, timeline therapy, gestalt therapy, recall healing, energy work, uh, writing letters to um, to different specific body parts and organs, using the EM wave, and really reconnecting with uh, your higher self. And he's had some incredible turnarounds. We talk about all the different turnarounds he's had with individual patients. He also has a scientific mind too, and uh, and so you can work with him individually, and he'll you know, send you a little kit and you can do a little blood draw, send your dry blood off to him and he'll read it under a microscope and make a DVD for you. So he's, I mean, he's got both sides of this thing covered and he's um, just a fascinating guy. So if you guys are interested in that, um, you'll be able to see a link to that. It's called perpetualhealing.me and you can sign up there. 
Or if you just go to extremehealthradio.com slash perpetual healing, you can sign up and become a member of our community on that page. And that will allow you to get to some really, really cool, interesting insights into your own health and to uh, overcoming health challenges and stuff like that. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, Let's see, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. I want to tell you some ideas that I had for improving your immunity, but I'll do that at the end of the show because I've written down a ton of stuff um, to, like if you guys get sick, if you get a flu or a cold or whatever, um, I wrote down a bunch of different ways to improve your immune systems to not just prevent sicknesses and illnesses and stuff like that, but also to overcome them. So um, I will share all of that stuff at the end of this one, but I got a few listener questions here. Gotta, I got to get to these because they're important. Um, let's see here. Number one, Jennifer writes in, she says, thanks for asking about my issues. I have been diagnosed with breast cancer and will be having surgery in one week. My daughter's father-in-law has been using the keto diet and has kept his cancer in check. Uh, it is time for me to do the same, but I am a fish out of water regarding to the keto diet. Any help you can give would be appreciated. I have eliminated sugar from my diet, but I know there is so much more to this. Thanks for all your help, Jenny. Awesome. Okay, so breast cancer. Gosh, what a deep subject. So we did a show a while back with a doctor. What is his name? Oh, I got his name. Doctor, let's see. What is it? Uh, I I think I missed it. Bob Dowling, episode 115. And he was having some interesting conclusions arise. So he's able to do some kind of test. I forget it was some kind of new technology that he had. Uh, That was episode 114 where, I'm sorry, 115, where he was able to show um, a direct connection on an x-ray from someone's root canal all the way to their breast tumor. And it was like a line that you could see in there on the x-ray going from their infected root canal all the way to a breast tumor. Now that, to me, is fascinating. What's what's going on there? Is the the infection in the tooth causing the breast tumor? Is the breast tumor reflexing back to the tooth and causing the tooth to be infected? Um, I suspect it's the former more than the latter, where the the, the tooth is causing something to do with breast cancer. Um, And we also did a couple shows with Sidney Ross Singer, about bras and breast cancer and how there's a direct correlation between the two, um, as well as cell phones and having them rest near the breasts. And we did an episode with, um, gosh, what is her name? Episode 75. I forget what her name was. I need some more ginkgo biloba. What is her name? I forget what her name is. Episode 75, where she t- uh, talked about her journey through breast cancer. Um, I know a lot of women are putting iodine on the breast and doing rebounding and detoxification strategies, things like that. So that might be something that you'd want to look into as well as starving the cancer out through a ketogenic diet. Um, I'd highly recommend looking into the ketogenic diet, please. That's very, very effective for people with cancer. So keep us up to date, Jenny, on your progress. Um, I I really am pulling for you on this one. That sounds, um, gosh, man, what a... Wouldn't it be so cool if you could just snap your fingers and make it so that no one's sick? Like there's so many people out there. I see so many people with just so sicknesses and illnesses and you know like there was a guy that used to work out at my old gym. He had he was paralyzed. I was just thinking, you know, the other day, you know, or not the other day, maybe the other month when I saw him, like, you know, if someone if if I had if someone gave me four hundred million dollars, like a lottery or something, and They said to me, you know, you could either have this money or allow this guy to walk again. I mean, I I don't even think that would be a thought, you know, like, of course, if you could take that guy out of his wheelchair and give him a new life again. I mean, gosh, I hope one day we can overcome these things, man. I really do. So I'm with you, Jenny, on that one. Let us know if we can ever help for you. I would just please let us know if you're a success because I know you're going to come out of this on the other side. Okay, Shelby writes in, Hi, I just had a severe case of hives on my arms that itch like crazy and keep me up at night. When I see the doctor, they had no idea what caused the hives or any hives in general. The only treatment they had to offer was steroids on medication 
uh, to help the itching. Thankfully, it did go away, yet they have no idea what causes hives and what to do to treat it. Shelby. Well, hives, I had that once. Um, it's most likely a uh, allergic reaction that's showing up in the skin to something you've eaten. Maybe you have an autoimmune issue, or maybe there's something going on with your liver or colon that's causing uh, this outbreak uh, to happen on your skin. Um, but yeah, doctors won't know what's going on with hives because all they know is just medications and, and stuff like that. God bless them. They try. They try. Um, but they just don't know. And um, let's see what else. Um, as far as hives go, I don't really know any specific protocols for hives. Um, top, topically, what, what could work? I know people use DMSO, but I wouldn't recommend that for hives at all. Um, maybe a magnesium. If you, guys, if you guys are listening to this, this is episode 462. So if you are listening to this, how about going to that page, this page for this podcast, and uh, going on there and... Uh, and sharing any ideas you have about hives, because that that would be a good a good question and good way to get uh, some some answers there. Kirsty writes in from Vancouver. Hi, Justin, Kate. I'm just getting back to you to tell you how much I hate the sauna. Wink, wink. Totally kidding, of course. I naturally love the sauna and have experienced so many benefits, including a really great sense of relaxation and calmness. Better skin tone and muscle tone, increased feeling of purity, cleanliness, better quality of sleep, etc. This is just my initial review. In all capitals, top notch, 100% amazing, five star, platinum, <laughs> platinum quality, big grin. I can't wait to dive deep with this tool and do some heavy detox. Yeah. One of the best things, though, is that my boyfriend, who is kind of a big naysayer when it comes to what he calls pseudoscience or gimmicks, absolutely loves the sauna, too. In parentheses, I'm really happy about that. He was visiting me for a couple months and I finally got it set up and working in the last month. We've been having daily sauna sessions. His is 15, mine is 22 minutes because, quote, I'm hardcore. <laughs> I try to have at least one sauna per day and occasionally two, like the spa day for Phil. I wanted to ask you if you received the lamp from Phil. If so, how do you like it? I'm curious about that product as well. Hope you guys are doing fantastic and I hope to speak to you soon. I have a feeling I will. As so many awesome things are happening in my own life right now, thanks for all that you do and keep up the wonderful work you guys are doing in all of our lives. Love and hugs from me, Kirsty. Um, yeah, Kirsty, that's awesome. I'm so glad. I think you've been corresponding with Kate privately uh, for quite some time. Um, yeah, that's interesting that your boyfriend uh, is a naysayer. It's really popular, isn't it, to be a skeptic and to be a naysayer in today's culture because it kind of boosts your ego a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, I'm a naysayer on a lot of things too, but I notice through awareness that really does kind of make you feel good. It gives you a little sense of ego, you know, self-importance a little bit. It makes you feel like you're different from the crowd, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't like to, and no one likes to buy into things that are later proved to be wrong. But uh, if you're worried about that, then you'll never buy into the very thing that could save you, right? So the only disease really is a closed mind. So it's important that our mind remains open, but not gullible, open so that we can ascertain what's going to be good for us and try things with an open mind. So yeah, this sauna is absolutely awesome. It's cool. I love it. I do it every single day, although I will be truthful with you. I haven't done it for about a week. We've been having an intense heat wave here. It's been in the hundreds and uh, a little too hot to do the sauna, but for the most part, I do it every single day and I'm glad that you like it, Kirsty. That's awesome. Um, that's available on the right-hand side of our website if you guys are interested in that. And in our store as well. Okay, Jim writes in, Hi, Justin Kate. I recently started listening to your podcast and I enjoy them very much. I'm fed up with the conventional medicine. I'm looking for treatments that really work. I take no prescription medications because the side effects were always worse than the symptoms they were trying to treat or they just didn't work at all. By the way, Jim, I wouldn't call them side effects. I would just call those effects. Those are the effects of the medication. No such thing really as side effects. Uh, I'm currently am suffering with a lot of symptoms of fibromyalgia and allergies. There seems to be a lot of allergic, I'm sorry, not allergic, alternative choices out there. And I get confused as to which one might be the best next one for me to try. I suffer from chronic pain all over my body. I have insomnia, fatigue, but the worst problem is the fibro fog. I have a great deal of difficulty being able to concentrate or remember. My cognitive abilities are terrible. I like to have my brain back. 
the symptoms do tend to wax and wane and the intensity changes often. So at least I'm no longer living with them daily. Some of the things that I've tried that have helped me to cope are chiropractic adjustments, massages, juicing, all organic and a Vitamix daily. Um, you might want to try actually juicing, Jim. Uh, I know you've been doing, if it's in your Vitamix, it's most likely a blended food, a whole food, unless you're taking that mixture and putting it through a nut milk bag, which is a way to make a juice from a Vitamix. But um, yeah, so try juicing as well if you can get your hands on a juicer. Um, herb, herbalism, including detoxing, weekly sauna, Epsom salt baths. I pretty much eliminated sugar, caffeine, sugar substitutes from my diet. I'm using EMF filters on all my electronics. That's great. As well as wearing one and having one next to me in bed. I've tried yoga and daily stretching, cranial sacral therapy, deep breathing, foot baths, floating, aromatherapy, and dabbled in acupuncture, self-taught. I've always enjoyed regular exercise, but that usually causes me to have a flare-up these days. Please point me in the right direction if you can. Thanks, Jim. All right, Jim. So what I would recommend here first is this question is a little bit above my pay grade. That's a lot here that you're talking about and a lot of systemic chronic issues that could be a part of everything that you have going on. And what I would recommend is signing up to our membership website. That way you get access to our two doctors um, who can help further uh, in a deeper way with this. But um, I'll share some ideas, just some thoughts here. Gosh, it sounds like you're doing a lot of cool things, which is great, right? Um, I'm curious at what point the fibromyalgia came on and if there's anything in your life that precipitated or that precipitates flare-ups. So you might want to look at that. There could be some stressors in your life. You might want to look at, um, at you said you've done detoxing. Have you done parasite cleanses? That could be something to look further into. Parasite cleanse for fibromyalgia. You might want to look that up. Um, your insomnia... There are lots of things going on with insomnia these days. Um, we did a show on sleep, inclined bed therapy with Sidney Ross Singer. I did a whole video about some some different things you can put near your bed uh, to increase your ability to have a better sleep. It's a YouTube video I did about sleep. You can just search through um, our show on YouTube. Um, it was a video, actual, actual video I did on that. Um, Looks like you've done a lot of stuff. I'm wondering if you've tried energy medicine. Things like um, gestalt therapy, timeline medita- um, therapy, maybe things like Qigong or even energetic things like the biophoton analyzer or the Rife machine, things like that. You might want to go look in an area and you might be able to find people in your local area that can be can help you with um, with these types of energetic ways of looking at, I mean, fibromyalgia is pretty intense. I've recently um, read a story about someone who committed suicide because the pain was so bad. Gosh, I feel for you, Jim. Um, You may also want to look, you say detoxing, but I'm not sure what exactly you tried. There's a million different detoxes. You might want to look at colonics too. And just so you know, everything I'm mentioning, I'm not a doctor. I I can't tell you to to do these things, but these are just things to look into and see if it, it resonates with you. Um, floating, that sounds like a good thing because you're getting that high dose magnesium, acupressure. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting because with, with situations like this, that are, that, you know, that are chronic, it's, it's, um, it's very dis- disheartening when you have something that just continues on no matter what you do. And a lot of times we think to ourselves, well, I've tried everything, right? I've tried, I've tried literally everything, but we haven't, we haven't tried everything. There, there are things that, exist out there that I, I'm not even aware of, things that exist that you've never heard about, and things that exist that uh, neither of us have heard about. And if you keep searching, you're going to find the answer. And I suspect from fibromyalgia, I suspect it's something much deeper, something much, much deeper, emotional, spiritual, Jim. Um, that's just my, my gut on that one. I hope that helps. If you guys have any thoughts about fibromyalgia, or if you know of anyone or you yourself have overcome it, Go to extremehealthradio.com slash 460. Gosh, let me make sure I get this correct. I want to make sure I get this correct. 462. And put a comment in the box down below. And that way we can all benefit from from that. So um, hopefully if you're listening to this and you've had an issue with fibromyalgia and you can't get over it, maybe someone else that is listening to this can share a comment in there and that could be the one thing that turns everything around for you. So... um, 
Yeah, I hope that helps you, Jim. Let let me know if I can help. Um, there may have been even a summit on that too. Um, I think on the right hand side of our site we have a list of summits that we've promoted in the past. So, Jim, I hope that helps you, um, and I hope we can pull together as a community to help you as well. And please, Jim, if you find something that's working for you, comment on that as well, and that way we can share your uh, your success story with the rest of the community here. We've got such amazing listeners. You guys are just amazing. So. Um, pooling all of our collective knowledge and efforts and insight and understanding together is a way that we're all going to be able to benefit from each other's knowledge and experience. And that's sort of the idea behind the membership website too, is um, getting together and pooling together everyone's expertise and uh, making it so that you guys can get direct, quick answers to all of your health concerns. Um, Okay, so Nick says here, hey, Justin, Kate, how are you? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing great, Nick. Thank you for asking. Um, doing great. Congrats on the new project. It sounds great. I think by the new project, he's talking about the membership website. Um, just listen to Shauna Holm, the shaman- shamanistic lady the other day. And towards the end of her interview, I thought to myself, this has been one of my favorite episodes. Then synchronistically, you both said the same thing. <laughs> Magical world, all the best, Nick. Yeah, that was an awesome show, man. Yeah, Nick, I, I agree with you. She was cool, man. What episode was that? Shauna Home. That episode, let me find that out for you. She talked about shamanism and ancient mushrooms uh, like ayahuasca and DMT and psychedelic experiences and using that in a shamanic way that's in touch and in alignment with spirituality and God and your higher self and and being able to um, sort of like just live in reverence to the, to the great spirit or to God. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Episode 451 using ancient shamanic medicines like psychedelic mushrooms to help heal and restore your health. Good stuff. So thanks, Nick. That's so funny that those things happen. Okay. Auto writes in. Hi, Justin. Kate. Interesting. It's not surprising that a lot of your guests do not agree about, about various things that makes, that makes sense. Let me give you an example. On the show with Bailey O'Brien, episode 456, she said that coffee enemas, among other things, helped her to heal. If it was so bad, if it was, if it was so bad, she would not have healed or, and that it's giving her an inner peace performing them in the morning, a kind of meditation, a moment where she can be in touch with the creator. In your show with her, you acknowledge that enemas are very good and that you use them yourself, which is true. In fact, I haven't done an enema um, lately. I need to get back on them. I usually, I used to do them every Sunday. It used to be a weekly thing for me. So, and then he goes on here. So just to underline, coffee, coffee is confusing me because he says cafe, like a cafe. Coffee enemas has been used by hundreds of thousands to heal from cancer and many other diseases. Many, many use it successfully. Gerson therapy, the Carrie Rivera protocol. Um, by the way, we're going to have her on the show pretty soon. Carrie Rivera, she's doing a lot of work with autism and MMS the GAPS protocol, many other retreats, and so on. And then someone like Cindy Sellers comes on the show, episode 456, comes by and says that coffee enema is not good because of the acidic substance and blah, blah, blah. (laughs) I love that. Blah, blah, blah. And that it also gives some side effects. For instance, the possibility of not being able regularly to go to the toilet after doing lots of enemas. This is where I wonder why you are not more confronting of her immediately with the contradiction. What about Bailey O'Brien and all the hundreds of people that are healed with the help of doing coffee enemas? Myself passed lots of parasites thanks to the coffee enemas. I hope in the future you will be a bit more on spot. In this case, it would, let's see, in this case, it would have been exceptionally interesting to know what she means by that. Maybe an explanation why it is bad when so many people benefit from it. Thank you for all the love and the work that you do and you give it out to all of us. Peace and love, Otto. All right. Otto, thanks for your insight and your question and your energy and taking the time to write all that. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Is, is we have people on the show that contradict each other completely, right? Bailey O'Brien and Cindy Sellers, 446 and 456. So the question is, would it be beneficial for me to confront people like Cindy Sellers and say, no, 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 no. What about all these people that have healed themselves with coffee enemas, right? So Cindy Sellers' argument was that 
when she does colon hydrotherapy with people, they release a lot of oil. And this oil, she claims, is being gummed up and stuck in your colon and intestines. Excuse me while I drink a sip of water here. Gosh, that's good. Yeah, so she says that the oils are bad because they're an A, not natural, and I covered that earlier about something not being natural. But she says that oils are unhealthy, unnatural, don't need to be in the body, and on and on. And it sounds like you agree with her because you say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like Maybe you're being sarcastic there. But really, I'm interested in picking people's brains more than I am debate. Because I don't think it's possible to know whether or not one of those two people are correct. Is it possible Cindy Sellers, what she thinks is oil in her program, is not? When she's looking at what's coming out of people? Is it possible that it's not oil? Has she done any lab tests to determine that it is oil? Is the oil, and so if it is oil, is all of that oil that's being pulled out of someone, is it a bad thing that it's being pulled out? And another question, is all of it being pulled out? So let's say someone drinks eight ounces of oil. Let's say, just making something up here. This is why we got to look deeper into things, right? So someone drinks eight ounces of coconut oil. And when they do a coffee enema, she sees oil come out of them and assumes the oil is not healthy, right? Because it's not natural, which we covered earlier before. So the question is, did all eight ounces come out? How, how, how does she know that, that A, that is oil to begin with, B, did all eight ounces come out, and C, if the coming out of the oil is a healthy or a non, an unhealthy thing? Maybe the oil that comes out of her also pulled heavy metals, but since there's no way to test that, the oil comes out and she says it looks unhealthy and it looks weird and bizarre and it's not natural. But we don't know. Maybe there's lots of um, oil, you know, coconut oil in particular is very antifungal. Maybe it's pulling out fungus in that oil. So we just don't know, right? And so um, my, my, let's see, my, let's see how to explain this. My position here, I have my position, and then I have my position on, on how I interact with these guests that come in and contradict each other. And then I have a third layer, which realizes that I am not any of those positions. So my position is, my position particularly, is that the oils are good, coffee enemas are good. I don't necessarily agree with Cindy Sellers, right? But there's a possibility she could be correct. I don't know. I don't know that she's done the science on that. So I'm just going to go with my gut. And my gut says I've been doing oil since uh, before and after her show and continue to do that, right? So your question isn't what my positions are. Your question is, why don't you call people out? And the reason why I don't call people out, I'm not, I'm not into a debate. I'm not really into debating people because I realize that she hasn't done the science. And so a debate really is not... Debate's only... The result of a debate is the... the brings into awareness our ego... And realizing that I am right and that person's wrong and I'm correct and they're wrong and as if we are our opinions about things, right? So debate and conf- confronting people, not not really what I'm after. Um, she's allowed to say that she thinks oils are bad. I might say something, you know, a lot of times it's hard because I might say something on Skype and they can't hear me. So um, I may say something and, you know, they may talk at the same time and sometimes it just gets lost into the ether. Um, but I'm not really, in, you know not really into confronting people because I really don't think it's possible to get to the real root cause. I don't think it's possible to understand what's actually happening in the body. Like, for example, even in that same scenario with the drinking of the coconut oil and the oil coming out in the coffee enema, or I'm sorry, in the uh, uh, colonic, you know, is is it possible that that's what that person needed and then if they did the exact same thing six months later, then it would have been unhealthy versus healthy the first time. Our bodies are in flux. They're always changing. Drink another thing of water. <sighs> Bodies are always changing, so what may be good for you now may not be good in six months. So there's so many la- layers to this. I don't think it's possible. So to, to debate someone about that, I mean, I guess it would be okay to ask her what her, her science is and things like that. But, you know, part of this is the placebo effect. And, you know, um, what is the name of that doctor? Dr. 
She wrote The Fear Cure. What is her name? I forget what her name was. But she, she writes all about the placebo effect and how that can be upwards of 30% of someone healing. So just by the very nature of you believing that the oils are causing damage in your body, you know, and by not doing oils, you're healthier, you probably became healthier just by believing that on some level that we're not able to ascertain and measure yet through science. And by the way, science is uh, another religion and science is an industry that's tied by monetary, uh, with by, you know, monetary strings. So science is not what it's cracked up to be. But I understand what you're saying. You, you would kind of like me to sort of be more confrontational to people. Eh, I, I might ask a question or two, but that's really the reason why is that, uh, you know, I, I think what you have to do is just listen to these people and just say, yeah, I like what she's saying here. I don't agree with her there. You know, if someone comes on who's, you know, a real scientist and really done the research like uh, Dr. D'Agostino with the ketogenic diet, you know, in that case, I like to ask more scientific questions and things like that. So, um, but when someone's not necessarily driven by that, I, I, I just let stuff go a little bit more. So that's my position on that, Otto. All right, we'll do another question here. Been going for about an hour. We'll do one more. Stacy writes in, hi, my biggest health complaint has been cystic acne since a teen. I'm 43, 110 pounds, and for the past 10 years, I've been take, I've taken and applied every product in God's creation. <laughs> Love that. In God's creation to attempt healing it. In the past five months, I've been on, oh, what is this? Humaworm supplements to cleanse my gut. Oh, I know what that supplement is. Yeah, humaworm supplements to cleanse my gut and rid my body of parasites. I can feel them moving in my body. Oh my gosh, it's gross. So I've discovered the turpentine protocol. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the turpentine protocol, listen to, let me find this show. It's Dr. Jennifer Daniels. Let me find it for you. If you go to our archives page, Daniels, whoops, D-A-N-I-E-L-S, 222. If you go to our, if you ever want to know if there's been a guest on our show, just go to the top and there's a show archives um, section and you can do, just do a control F to search the guest name on that page because that page has every interview we've ever done, all 461 of them. Okay, let me get back to the question here. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Maybe you can help me as a listener. I'm sure you probably know more about this than I do. Okay, so I discovered the Turpentine Protocol, episode 222, if you want to learn more about that. For a week, for a week every other day, I took a teaspoon of turpentine with a tablespoon of sugar I've been getting great results with candida release and hookworms, but on my last day, I took a tablespoon of turpentine with a tablespoon of olive oil, and I hurt myself. I was dizzy and nauseous, so the next day, my stomach hurt fiercely every time I ate. For breakfast, I had homemade mushroom soup with almond milk, and lunch was a hummus and gluten-free crackers. I've given up dairy, sugar, and gluten and still breaking out. I have eczema on my face and feet. I have hair loss and eyebrow I have hair loss too, uh, Stacy. so there you go. Uh, but it's not, for women, it's a little different. Uh, I have hair loss and eyebrow hair loss, ah, and lethargy from hypothyroidism that I'm trying to reverse with whole foods. My depression has disappeared. Thankfully, any suggestions to complete the healing of my gut so I can get that energy back and improve the above-mentioned ailments. Thank you so much for all that you do, Stacy. Long-time listener. Awesome. All right, so I would probably recommend listening to the show we did with Tracy Raftel on her protocols for healing cystic acne and uh, chronic severe acnes. Uh, she's had it since she was a teen, Stacy has. Um, wondering, you might want to look at Holda Clark. She has a, uh, if you go to, if you go, here's the thing, go to Google, type Extreme Health Radio, all one word, don't put .com or anything, and then do space and type critical PDF documents. Let me do that with you on the thing here because there is a protocol. Let's see, critical PDF doc documents. Okay, so that'll bring up the first result is a page on our website where we have these documents, these PDF documents, which are very, very cool. There's lots of them. And there's one called... Number 12 says new concepts, seven essential oils to kill tapeworms. So let me go into that. Oh, and I have to tell you my immune system protocol too. Okay, so if you scroll down on that new concepts document, 
Let me give you what Holda Clark says, the seven essential oils to kill tapeworms. You got it? Okay, here we go. Um, sage, thyme, cardamom, coriander, caraway seed, fennel, and allspice. Okay, so you can go get those probably online or something. Um, so here's the protocol. Okay, here we go. Put two drops of oil, I'm sorry, put two drops of each oil into an empty capsule. Swallow immediately. Okay, so put two drops of each oil. So that would be 14 total drops, right? Two drops of sage, two drops of thyme, all of that. Put two drops of each oil into an empty capsule. Swallow immediately. Take twice daily for three days. Watch for the tapeworm to exit stage left with a bowel movement. (laughs) Use... A synchronometer, syn- synchrometer for this. Test in colon or bile ducts several times more. For people over 200 pounds, use three drops of oil. I'm sorry, three drops of each oil three times daily for three days. So the protocol if you're under 200 pounds is two drops of each oil uh, twice a day for three days. So if you're over 300 pounds, three drops of each oil three times a day for three days, three, three, and three for over 200 pounds. So if you want to look at that, go to um, Google, type Extreme Health Radio, space, critical PDF documents. And then number 12 on that list is something that says, New Concepts, Seven Essential Oils to Kill Tapeworms. And let me take you to Professor Volinsky. Okay, episode 203 how he used specialized enemas to extract parasitic rope worms and lose over 80 pounds in the process. So you may want to listen to episode 203 with Alex Volensky, professor. So if you're new to the show and don't know this, you can just type in extremehealthradio.com a forward slash and then put any number from 1 to 461 at the time, or at 462. One sec, I got it. Talking so much, I'm um, not drinking enough water here. Mm. So, yeah, episode 203, check that out. And uh, let me look further at your question here. So, let's see. Um, I know Marcus Rothkranz has a parasite cleanse. You might want to look at that. Um, I think that's in our store. You can find his... Uh, his stuff in our store. He's got a great parasite cleanse. Lots of really cool stuff in there. Um, let's see. Almond milk. Okay. Gluten-free crackers. Uh, my depression has disappeared. That's great. And you're complete. So healing of the gut. Yeah. You might want to look into um, the GAPS diet, which is really great for healing the gut, as well as the Weston A. Price, doing more bone broths and doing uh, fermented foods. Lots of fermented foods, but ease into the fermented foods because they're really powerful and they can really disrupt things quite a bit um, for healing the gut. And uh, let's see, L-glutamine is really great for helping to seal the gut, the supplement L-glutamine. Bodybuilders take it to help recover from uh, lactic acid buildup in the muscles so they help you with your workouts. But And also mastic gum is really great for the... Um, infections in the stomach and things like that. So you may want to look at those and just do a little research and see if that can help you. Um, and also look into just different cleanses. We sell the Ejuva cleanse, which we really like a lot. That's in our store, um, extremehealthradio.com slash forward slash E-J-U-V-A. And uh, that's a great cleanse. And so I suspect that it's going to be a liver issue. It's going to be a colon issue. And the, and the more clean you get, the more ability you're going to have to overcome this systemic cystic acne, Stacy. So um, continue doing deep internal cleansing. And then for as far as stuff to put on your skin, we have a whole line of stuff um, in our store under skin protocols, physical products and skin protocols like um, the essential oils and the, and the chemical-free makeup from Anne-Marie Gianni and living libations, stuff like that. So um, um, make sure to do that. And also consider maybe not washing your face or putting makeup on and letting your skin breathe. That is something that could help too. If you guys listening to this have any ideas for Stacy, go to extremehealthradio.com slash 462. Leave a comment on that page and maybe we can all pull together and uh, and help Stacy out. So 
Gosh, we've been going for an hour and 20, 12 minutes here. I It's time for me to go outside and do my rebounding. Um, lately, I've been doing my rebounding out in the sun. Take the Bellicon out there uh, and rebound in the sun while I'm grounded, breathing fresh air, getting vitamin D, and I get to listen and watch YouTube videos and listen to podcasts. I, I get to stimulate my mind. I get to get vitamin D and fresh air and grounding all while rebounding. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, that's good. Um, yeah, the rebounder we have on our store as well. And then that, that Bellicon is something else. It's like jumping on a trampoline and, uh, I just love it. I got the one that where the legs fold so I can just lean it up against the wall and then I just take it outside and put it in the backyard and put it in my iPod and, uh, really learn a lot, breathe fresh air. What a, oh, I just been loving that lately. Yesterday I didn't get to do it and, uh, I missed it. So I'm excited. I got to go do that after the show. I want to share with you one final thing about the immune system. Where is that? I put together this document that I wanted for myself about different things people can do to build their immune system. And then we'll end on that. How about that? <clears throat> so realize that a lot of you guys uh, can't do a lot of these things or admit some of you can't do a lot of these things. And I can't do some of the things as well because some of them require different tools and gadgets. But I just made a list. And um, and please feel free to go to extremehealthradio.com slash 462 and comment and let me know any other things I'm missing here. I just kind of did this list off the top of my head. It's coming in the fall here in California this time of year. And this is the time when people get sore throats and they get sick. So here's kind of the core of the building of the immune system. This is what I would do. And I'm just saying this is just for me. Okay. Um, you can follow this if you like, if you're adventurous and want to do things like this. Uh, vitamin C, lipospheric vitamin C, a thousand milligrams every 15 minutes. Dr. Andrew Saul, who was on our show, I forget what episode, you can search the archives and search Andrew Saul, uh, talks about high dose vitamin therapy. Um, and that's what he talked about, 1,000 milligrams every 15 minutes. Uh, zinc or zinc lozenges, colloidal silver spray, you can buy that at the health food store or Thrive Market or Amazon. If you go through our link, you can buy and support us. All these things you can probably buy on Amazon and that would support our show too. So just, just so you know. Um, and if you combine golden seal with barberine, that helps to um, be like a natural antibiotic. Uh, Kyolic garlic capsules. I like the company Kyolic. Um, oregano oil. And that stuff is powerful, man. What I would recommend that is to put that, go to the health food store or on Amazon and buy veggie caps and put the oregano oil drops in the veggie cap so you can take it and don't have to, man, that stuff's really powerful. Uh, and then beta-glucan. We have beta-glucans in our store that we highly recommend, the best ones on the market. And beta-glucans are straight immune system support. Um, they help with the white production of white blood cells, and they help with all the different arms. There's two or three different arms of the immune system. Beta-glucans is one of the few immune-building substances out there from, from mushrooms. And we sell one on our store that's just, ah, I love it. So beta-glucans. And then if you search extremehealthradio.com or Extreme Health Radio space anti-plague venom, and that's something that you can make in your own home with, which is basically, let me, let me give you the little recipe for that really quickly because this could be helpful for you. You can, you can buy um, versions of this at the health food store, which is what we have, um, anti, Extreme Health Radio anti-plague venom. Funny little name, right? Okay, here we go. Whoops. Let's see. Anti-plague venom. Okay, here we go. Let me get you the recipe for this thing. Okay, it's pretty, pretty, um, pretty intense. Okay, fill three quarters of a Vitamix blender with Bragg's raw apple cider vinegar. Okay, so you get a Vitamix, fill it three quarters full with apple cider vinegar. Easy, right? So the recipe is cayenne pepper. And I didn't, unfortunately, put the amounts of these things, so I should just go back. It's been a couple years since I made it. Cayenne pepper, two full onions, a huge chunk of ginger, two heads, not cloves, but heads of garlic, three tablespoons of Italian herbs. Um, I also added basil and oregano and a pinch of olive oil. Uh, 10 to 15 white peppercorns. I, use, I just use white pepper from a shaker bottle, but you can buy white peppercorns. 
a horseradish root, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And you blend all of that up in a blender in the Vitamix. And then you can put it in your, you can just put it in a glass jar, put it in your fridge, and it'll last for years because it's already sort of gone off with the cayenne pepper. It's going to keep it, keep it stable. So you have garlic, ginger, onion, cayenne pepper. Man, that's going to be, that's going to knock you three ways to Sunday. Okay, so anti-plague venom, that's uh, the other thing. Iodine, selenium, bone broth for, for your gut, vitamin B12, mushrooms of all kinds, because mushrooms are very great for your immune system, namely reishi, shaga, astragalus, things like that. B products, because of their high enzyme count and vitamin B count. Coconut oil, because it's antifungal. Antioxidants. Uh, which I like astaxanthin and or I do both, uh, Mega Hydrate. And if you go through our Amazon link, both of those are on Amazon. Colostrum, because that's great for your immune system and gut health as well. Olive leaf. Uh, we have an olive leaf that we stand behind in our store. We've talked to the owner of the company, East Park Research, a couple times, and we really like what they're doing and their um, ability to put super high amounts of what's called all europin into the olive leaf extract. They've got a proprietary um, secret little way that they do that, and that's really great for your immune system, olive leaf extract. Uh, and then obviously echinacea, lots of probiotics and fermented foods. Um, mineral supplements. I like my first mineral supplement that's in liquid form that I think is the best. I've done a lot of research. I have not taken this yet. But I've done a lot of research on it. It is called Intramax. And it's bound to a fulvic acid, which makes your body think it's real whole food. And it helps to deliver the minerals to your cells through your digestive tract. It's, it's amazing. It's got all the minerals and like over three or 400 vitamins in there too. Intramax. You can get that through our Amazon link as well. Cannabis. Oh, the second mineral supplement that I like is Sun Warrior's Liquid Light. I like that one as well. Um, cannabis, obviously, if you're able to get it, ginger, noni juice, wheatgrass juice, high levels of magnesium. I like the magnesium from activation products. That's in our store as well. Um, essential oils and fatty acids from oils, um, too. You want to make sure you have good amounts of omega-3, lower amounts of omega-6. We talked about that on the episode with Stephen Hure recently. And then here's some ideas for just that are not really supplement-based. Okay, um, I have a thing called rapid release technology, which helps to vibrate the skin, and you can put it in different areas around the body. It helps loosen up and build um, circulation and blood flow. Uh, rapid release technology. Um, eating on time, like the Adam Bergstrom talks about. So you want to eat your fruit in the morning and, and your ground and root vegetables at night. That helps your body. Um, I would put DMSO right over my lungs and chest, Possibly. A lot of people talk about doing hydrogen peroxide in the ears at the first sign of a cold, like ear, nose, and throat kind of thing. Uh, organic, obviously, 3% food grade, diluted hydrogen peroxide in the ears. This is for me now. This is just for me. I'm just sharing what I would do. Um, ultraviolet blood irradiation. So you might want to look at that. There might be a doctor in your area who would do that. Basically, putting your blood through light and cleansing the blood and then reintroducing that blood back into your body, you should, you should research that and find out what that's good for. Uh, vitamin infusions, so you can get like an IV vitamin, like vitamin C or um, vitamin D, all kinds of stuff. You can do IV vitamins infusions. We like a place locally in San Diego called Spark Health, S-P-A-R-K, Health. Um, something else you could do, fecal implants. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty fascinating. Rebuilding gut flora. So, and we all know that um, beneficial bacteria is the seat of our immune system. So you can do that. You can actually go back in time and take a fecal implant and reintroduce beneficial bacteria in your body that you had prior to any vaccinations and things. So it's people are using that for autism now and um, doing some incredible work with that. Obviously, get lots of sleep. You might want to try fasting. Because the more food you eat, the less you live, as well as the more your energy your body could use for healing. Coffee enemas, colonics, castor oil packs um, right over your liver, sauna and rebounding, 
which I love our sauna. It helps to improve your immune system by 40% from what they say by increasing heat shock proteins, uh, rebounding the biophoton machine, the Rife machine, lots of mineral rich water, green juices, homeopathics, chiropractic adjustments, yoga, qigong, zapping. Uh, we did a whole show on zapping. We have a Q laser that we, uh, there's no longer you can get anymore, but we use the Q laser. Gargling with salt water, taking MMS capsules, which I used to do a lot. Um, I found it to be a bit much, though. I'm not sure about it anymore. Nebulizing with silver and garlic. So you can actually nebulize garlic juice and mix it with silver and breathe that into your lungs. But remember, you didn't hear that here. Uh, let's see what else. Grounding, getting vitamin D, breathing fresh air, meditation. Then there's all kinds of oxygen therapies as well that you can look into. We did a whole show with uh, Ed McCabe who wrote the book Flood Your Body with Oxygen about oxygen therapies. And then there's also the Biomat, which we sell in our store, the PEMF mat, which we don't sell in our store yet. We need. I'm going to buy that one day and we'll offer that to you guys. PEMF, we did a whole show with Bryant Myers about that. Um, pulse electromagnetic field mat that you can lay on. Um, and then there's magnetic therapies. Dr. Bonley has these magnetic mattress pads, but you can put magnets on your Vitalizer Plus, which, which helps to s- structure the water. And then urine therapy, drinking your own urine helps to regulate your immune system and, and re-educate your own immune system and build immunity. You can dilute it with water first thing in the morning. Uh, massage, help to flush toxins. Then obviously things like lowering stress and lowering sugar and uh, not eating heavy foods and things like that. So... There's a lot there, but uh, hopefully that helped you with immune system health. So uh, I want to thank you guys for for uh, being on the show and listening, and I hope that was helpful for t- for you. And um, yeah, let us know if we can ever help. And uh, I think that's about it, right? Stay tuned to our show. Don't forget to sign up if you want to our newsletter and sign up to uh, Perpetual Healing if you want to go deeper into all of these things and learn how to do them and how to implement them in your life and get access to two doctors. And we're going to have yearly seasonal cleanses that will be overseen by the doctors, all kinds of webinars, cool stuff in perpetualhealing.me. So um, make sure to sign up for that. I'll put the link to that at extremehealthradio.com slash 462. We're actually running out of, uh, let's see, space here. So um, I just wanted to share all of that with you guys. So I hope you guys had a good time on this show. Thanks for listening and thanks for sharing our show. Thanks for your support on Patreon. Thanks for buying through our Amazon link. Thanks for going to our store Anytime you're in the market for alternative health products and seeing if we carry them and purchasing through our store, thank you for that. That helps keep the show free. Thank you for um, just being in our lives and uh, and everything that you do and writing in and uh, sharing everything that's working for you. So we appreciate that so much. All right, guys. Love you all. Thank you for listening. Thanks for sharing our show. We'll catch you on the next episode. No material on this blog is intended to suggest that you should not seek professional medical care. Always work with qualified medical professionals, even if you educate yourself in the field of live food, nutrition, and alternative medicine. I'm not a doctor, nor am I offering readers medical advice of any kind. None of the information offered here should be interpreted as a diagnosis of any disease, nor an attempt to treat or prevent any disease or condition. While information in this blog is discussed in the context